What is Oracle's roadmap for enterprise cloud computing? Well, so it depends which way you look at it. Um, the, uh, um, you know, I think at the keynote today, Jürgen was talking about, you know, we, we support basically all the forms of cloud computing. So obviously we offer a complete suite of SaaS applications, so all the way from CRM, HCM, the entire Fusion application suite is offered as, as a SaaS offering. We also offer the ability to have services through the Oracle public cloud, which is database service, Java services. Uh, and then for, for a lot of large enterprise customers, they want the same abilities, uh, the same paradigm of shared resources, self-service provisioning, you know, you know, disambiguate IT from the uh, from the consumer uh, in, a, in an enterprise in their own enterprise, and so for that we're offering you know the capability to build enterprise private clouds through some of the capabilities we just talked about in 12 C, where you can actually get all the same benefits of cloud computing, but inside your enterprise. And obviously that takes away some of the issues around uh, sort of data security and in application integration if you're doing it on premise. But so our goal is to offer all those capabilities and then the ability to, to be basically take your applications from within a on premise into an Oracle public cloud or bring it back from an Oracle public cloud onto so sort of a, a hybrid mechanism. So we, we, pl we already offer all those capabilities today. Okay. Is cloud computing applicable for enterprises of all sorts and sizes? Oh, I, I absolutely. I mean, I think whether you are, you know, if you're, a, if you're a small business, maybe you want to, you don't want to manage any IT, so you want to use a public cloud to do to do a lot of your uh, computing uh, or meeting your compute needs. If you're an enterprise, uh, certainly you want the same benefits, but but in house. In a lot of cases, the private cloud is more applicable to large enterprises. And then this notion of the hybrid hybrid cloud, where you can move stuff between the two. So I think cloud is applicable whether you look at it from a self service uh, 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 software as a service model or just you want infrastructure as a service in-house or platform and on either side of the divide, I think it's applicable to all businesses and will be more so going forward. In Germany, but I think all, also in other countries, enterprises have often concerns about security in the cloud. And especially in Germany, data privacy protection is a hot topic. How does Oracle ensure security in the cloud? So, I mean, again, it comes in different flavors. Obviously, if you're running a cloud in your enterprise, there's less concern because you have complete control over the data. But even there, even enterprises that have uh, clouds built inside their own IT environments, they need, for instance, data to be uh, sent to, say, testing centers in maybe, you know, India or China or wherever they may be having testing. And so, for obviously, for that, we have a complete suite of things like uh, data encryption, data masking that allow you to mask sensitive data when you send it outside your enterprise. Um, and obviously those same capabilities are available in a public cloud. Now there are restrictions in various European countries uh, you know, where the data must reside, for instance, within the EU. So clearly those kind of, those kind of requirements can only be met by, you know, if, if there was a public cloud, they, their data centers need to be within the EU boundaries, for instance, as, as a requirement. But all the requirements around uh, encryption, data masking, and data security, things like audit vault, data vault, Oracle has a very rich history in security. And I think all those technologies can be brought to bear whether you're in a private cloud or in a public cloud today. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you.